Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And this is a rarity. She's actually sitting in on a video about tabletop RPGs. And uh, she's sitting in because she has some opinions on this situation. I'm just tired of this kind of stuff. Uh, we've been talking about tabletop for a while now and just how weird the scene has become. It's become overrun with perpetually offended, terminally online activists. And now we have another example of this. Uh, there is a game company out there called Goodman Games, which is the publisher of Dungeon Crawl Classics, which is kind of a 1E old school renaissance RPG system, basically for old heads. It's an RPG system for old heads and people who want to play old school gaming. So they're going to have the a problematic ones that most of these people complaining wouldn't play anyway. Yes, the problematic RPGs that uh, Wizards of the Coast have been trying to eliminate over the last decade or so, right? This is not 5e, this is like 1e D&D. Anyway, they announced that they were going to have an indie RPG creator summit. They're gonna be doing uh, Zoom calls with game developers talking about their stuff and how to make games and how to market games. It sounds like a really good time, right? They have about 50, 60 people. They've signed up to give presentations. Well, they made the mistake I'm using air quotes here. They made the mistake of putting the first teaser out with all white dudes on it. And of course, Twitter, being Twitter, reacted the way you would fully expect Twitter to react, especially especially with the tabletop quote unquote community. So a question. Okay, first of all, it says presenters include. It doesn't say all the presenters. It's not all the presenters, And no. also, I want to point out, are these people, I mean, I don't know. Are these people known names in that in that area? Some of them are. Yes. Are these the like? Are they maybe on there because of the headliners? Because of the ones people know? Yes. Because that's what people do when they have a show. If you're having a convention and you're having a bunch of actors and there's like you know you have a couple A-listers, and they're ones people know, you lead with that. And sometimes they're all white dudes. Yeah, given the demographics of the products they produce, chances are very good that there are a lot of white dudes. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna claim I know. I'm just, I'm just asking because I'm like, if these are people that are well known in the industry and are like the the, the bigger names, then it makes sense that they would be the ones that would be on the. And it could have been they were gonna put out multiple posters with different presenters. Well, they do. They actually have multiple, multiple posters. But I think, I think you're right. I think they're trying to get as many people interested as possible. So they're they're putting their headliners up first. And yeah, you know, given the demographic of the people that, that buy their products, this is, these are probably the people they want to hear from the most. I know, I'm, just, we've I'm done, just saying, I'm just saying. When we've done shows before, like we were definitely not the headliners. Okay. No. And we would get announced, but their first uh, images and their first, uh, you know, promotions would include the most important people. And then, like, they would later add just, like, okay, here's another group, and here's another group. And they would, like, you know, show other people that were in the other groups. But their first presentation of it was, here are the big ones you can expect. Yeah. So I don't know if that's what's going on here. That is that is my assumption of what is probably going on. So we're, we're going to talk about this because I think <sighs> this scene, I mean, you want to talk about, you want to talk about comics being weird. And you want to talk about video games being weird. The tabletop scene is hands down the most... Uh, overrun with terminally online, perpetually offended activists. And, you know, of course they think that they complain, they get what they want because, you know, companies like Wizards of the Coast bend over backwards to give them whatever they want. Three people complained about something. Well, let's change the rules to make them happy. And you've always been, you've always been free to change the rules and game systems to suit your group. And then you the know, next thing is the, the ones company. that are screaming, how many of them actually would go to this event? Anymore? That's the thing too. Like how many people who complain are actually going to the event? To like I'm not going to go to this event. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to. But, but I'm just saying, you know, so I wouldn't demand they, they cater to me when I'm not even going to be there. It's not something I would care about. No, what what they will do, and we've seen this happen before in the, the indie RPG space. What they will do is they will, even if they have no interest, even if these people have never purchased a Goodman Games product in their lives ever and have no intention because it's stinky old man D and D, right? Right. And these I didn't people know there was such a thing, but okay. Yeah. Well, they're not gonna they're not gonna buy that stuff because they want their five e. Even if they no coffee they, shops and prom. <laughs> with coffee shops and prom. Even if they don't uh, purchase these products, even if they're not their actual 
consumer. They will go to like Gen Con or something and complain and, and, you know, fabricate, oh, they're racist because look at all the white people in their summit. You know, oh, we saw this with a uh, troll war games, another OSR publisher. And they put a statement out and they basically said, hey, we're not political. And they got dogpiled for saying they're not political because, you know, apparently saying you're not political and we just want to publish games and whatever. That is a political statement in and of itself, you know. And the weird thing is, is like they keep, you know, getting Wizards of the Coast to bend the knee to them, change the rules, whatever, whittle down their audience and and these people uh, are never happy. Then then they find out that the the corporation that's supposedly giving you everything you want, yeah, they'll send the freaking Pinkertons to your house. Mm -hmm. You know that's who they really are. These guys are just dudes that like playing games. They just want to make game systems, sell game systems like the ones they remember, and it's it's a problem. So we're we're gonna talk about this before we get into it any further. Too late. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. You get woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um. Have to give a hat tip to Black Sage D, who sent this over to me a, a day or two ago. And a uh, uh, hint, Black Sage D is not a white dude. I don't think no. Black, I, I don't think. I, Another hint. Neither. And Neon, Neon is a white dude. I know, right? People Everybody are shocked. Everybody thinks he's not. Uh, I'm, 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 even though my, my, my avatar is a cartoon presenting, male presenting, white presenting avatar. You never white know presenting. He's a white dude. Yeah. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah, so he's, he's, he's not white. He sent this over. He said, this is bullshit, you know? So we're, we're going to, we're going to talk about this, uh, before we get into it further, further though, just a heads up, we are working on our own game engine, adventure engine. And, uh, this is, we're not even in alpha yet. So we're, it, it's been about a year in development, a year plus in development. It's coming along very, very well. Uh, it's not something you're going to be able to buy next week. The whole team are dudes. The whole team. The are whole dudes. team are also white dudes. Oh, don't tell people that we're gonna get canceled. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, no, I just hired people that I thought were qualified for the <laughs> for the gig, um, and that's not to exclude anybody at all. Absolutely, we, we're hoping that this game is actually very accessible for people who maybe have never played an RPG before. You know, it's for and, everybody, and it's for everybody. And uh, but that being said, as long as you're under, as long as you're ninth or ninety nine, if you're yeah, under nine or you're hundred, you're fuck you. Yeah, if you're a hundred years <laughs> old, I don't want you. You're old. You're a boomer. You're ageist. Anyway. You're ageist. Get out of my no. But uh, don't expect us to make any flowery statements on Twitter. And I think people know us well enough to know that we're not going to you know take it if somebody comes at us. Uh, we are making a game. And we're selling a game and we're going to keep politics out of said game. Uh, you play the game how you want to play. Uh, some issues we're not going to address in the rules. And if it's not right for your group, we would like everybody to play. But if it's not right for your group, you are always welcome to homebrew your own rules. Absolutely. You can make your own prom. You can, if you want. And coffee shop. If you want a prom and a coffee shop in your adventure engine campaign. I cannot tell you, you can't do that. You're more than welcome to do that. Just don't expect us to do that officially. Or if we do, it's going to be for laughs. Anyway, um, so this is, uh, yeah, this is their Indie RPG Summit. They announced this, they got pushed back, and then they had to uh, show more guests. Right, presenters were... include. It sounds to me like there's multiple um, panels. Yes. And there's going to be multiple topics, and there'll be multiple people presenting. Yes, that's that's it. But they led with yeah, dozens more. It says right on the thing. This is yes. the only people. But that they led with they led with the white dudes. That they're was probably the, the ones that you know. There's but there's white dudes on this one. Yep. Y'all know that women and BIPOC folks also play RPGs too. Is there anyone on the panel who isn't exclusively it a says white male? Right under dozens more. Dozens more. I don't. They don't all look like white. Now, to be fair. In this space, if you're going to go on Twitter and you're you're in the tabletop community, you probably would want to include, I would have said, you know, maybe let's do a 50-50 mix just because you know how Twitter is. Mm -hmm. I don't think they did it. Uh, and there's a whole thread on it on uh, Ian World talking about where people are like, no, these are good guys. They're not, they're not racist. They're not whatever. But. Knowing how Twitter is and knowing especially how the RPG scene is, I probably would have been like, you know, if we've got some more diverse people, if we have them already, 
maybe just throw a few people on there just to make sure people know that it's not just all white dudes. But what gets me but, is people scream about racism and sexism are also being racist and sexist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, wait. It gets it gets great. Oh, white guys, seriously, not a good look. Who signed off on this? Again, these people better. I want to see receipts. They better show up to the Zoom call and they better post that they were at the Zoom call and prove it because you put such a hissy shit fit. Hissy shit fit. See, I can't even get the words out over this whole thing. Um, uh, you know, then I expect you all to be there. No, I don't want receipts. Like I want actual store receipts. I want receipts that you purchase Goodman Games products. Right. That's, that's why. That's why you think you should be there. That's why you think you should have a voice. I want to see that you actually own all their stuff. Because I gotta tell you, the people that are complaining, I don't see them buying this stuff. I don't see no. them buying these old school. No. Modules and supplements at all. The, this is not the the right audience. Well, uh, you know stuff. what? If they do another, if somebody else that does games, um, they do a they do a some kind of online event or even a person event. I fully expect that when they're doing their lead lineup of pre presenters, there better be some older white men on the panel or you're not being diverse. It does not work. It does not work that way. I'm just saying it doesn't work. Nine times out of 10, it does not work that way. Uh, is this a white boys only summit or what's well, good? Okay, let me change this out. Is this an Asian boys only or Asian girls only summit? Is this a black girl only summit? Well, okay. Or what's good? If you said that for anybody else, what would happen? Oh, you'd get, yeah. But they do it. Like Emerald City Comic Con, they have, uh, they actually have groups for certain ethnic and uh, sexual orientation groups or whatever. Uh, there are no like straight white dude. Like, look, you could, again, you, I, I'm just saying, I'm not saying there should be. I'm just saying, you know, you've got certain spaces set up for certain groups at these conventions and, but you can't say that that's a problem. But, but look here. You know? Okay. So wait, so hold on. Can you all, can all you racists find another hobby to ruin? Thanks. Okay. A couple things here. One, this is old school D and D, which was around before all you knew people Two, Their name is virtual signal six. Oh, Creator oh. virtual signal, the game Portland occupied. So, there zone. Is a bunch, so what it sounds like to me. This is a, it's a bunch parody. of salty bitches who didn't get to be invited, yeah. didn't get, or they're, they're coming, but they're, they're they were on the initial picture, starting shit and having everybody go run to Twitter and cause problems. More white guys' opinions is just what I need in this space. That's um, what the space, yeah, space needs, yeah, uh huh. But this is look, this is their summit for their audience, which, given what they publish, makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes sense that the majority of people that are presenting or talking about whatever, since we're talking about old school well, tabletop. The next comment is awful. The panel definitely uses the N word regularly on the accounts. Let me guess, you use the Tinkerbell regularly? Do you call people cracker regularly? I'm like, seriously, I can just change this around on you at any time. That's uncalled for and you have no basis for that. What, because they're white? Gotta tell you, as a white person, I don't ever use those terms, but I hear them all the time, people who aren't. Yeah, I mean, look, I, again, I want to, this this person here says you guys would have been better off just listing all the speakers by name, all of them. Yeah, geez. I agree. I, I do agree. I think. I don't think it was intentionally malicious. No, and, and there's a whole thread about it. And people are like, look, we know these guys. This is not intentional. It's just you got to realize this is their audience. This is what their audience wants because they are, again, old school players. And old school players tend to be Gen X older white dudes because that's who started playing the game back in the day and that's who's interested mostly in their their products you know um but again they need some it probably need somebody to to help them with their twitter marketing because i'd be like if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go on twitter if you don't want backlash you know, you know what's weird to me okay i'm looking at these posts right and they're supposed to be getting all these views but they're not getting jack shit interaction no like most of them aren't like, who's that dip I was making the comment about the N-word? Uh, he's like a nobody. Oval Thaps. 90 following. Oh, <laughs> uh, oval. But they're supposed to have gotten all those likes? I don't know. There's something weird here. Imagine playing a game of Guess Who with a full list of 57 speakers, 12 questions in. You'll probably still be left with half the speakers because they're virtually indistinguishable. Right, because all white other. guys look alike. Yeah. Let's, let's go back up to this. But again, you know. Do they literally all look the same? I don't if know. If you said the same thing about a group of any other, you know, oh, it's a bunch of black women. Oh, they all look the same. I mean, come on. Yeah, exactly. It's right? like you're being a racist tool bag. I'm sorry. Some like, of them have beards. 
I do think that they had other people come. I know, right? I do think if they had other people coming, they probably should have included a couple I, other people probably, in the picture. Just probably. Just to cover their own rear end, given how Twitter is. Um, I think that somebody else said they should have just listed all the presenters. I think they should have done that. I agree. I think that, you know, you're just going to Twitter with this. You're asking for trouble. And I mean, I'm not by any means saying that diversity shouldn't be included in this event. I think that there are people that do qualify that aren't white, straight, male, that are probably fans of the old game or involved in making things like that. And that's cool. And there's, it sounds like an RPG, so they, 5e would probably be part of it. And I, I think that you could get some bigger voices, and there are bigger voices that are not white, straight men. I yeah. think that that's not a problem, and I think they did do that. But I think the way they presented this, the first image, and people were just immediately jumping the gun on how, being pissed about it. I, it's just ridiculous. I think it's I think it's funny how uh, you know when there was there was a backlash over Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, the video game, and all these journos who clearly didn't do any any homework at all. We're all jumping to how cyberpunk was uh, an alt-right manifesto and yada, yada, yada. And Mike Pondsmith is black. Mm-hmm. The guy who created the game is black. I know, because they don't know what they're fucking... Because they're, Simple they're not, Google search. They're you know? not there because they actually care about it. That's just it. They're right. there because they want to scream about something. And, it's, and and these people, there's people that are perpetually online that there's a, 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 a whiff of something going on. They come dogpiling in. They, they're never going to be there. They don't play the games. I mean, I don't play these games. Neon does. I'm just sitting... I'm here because I'm just like, this is really stupid. Yeah, I mean, look, I, again, I want to reiterate. I want to reiterate. If it were me and I had 60 people that were coming and some of them weren't white people and I was going to post on Twitter of all places in the table in the loving, accepting, open oh, right. yeah. arms of the tabletop community. These are the most unaccepting assholes I've ever seen in my life. And then they're always going about acceptance and love. You're so full of shit. It's ridiculous. The, the tabletop scene. I, I, I'll go on record saying that it is one of the most co- caustic, toxic uh, scenes out there. Obsessed with canceling people. I have seen people get canceled from events or what, just for stupid well, it's minor. Like, it's like anything else with movies and cartoons and stuff. Especially if it's a redone version of something. They all want to be fan. They're all fans of it now. And they think that they are the only fans that exist and they have to race anybody who doesn't look like them or believe what they believe or they think, even if they don't even know these people, it's because they're just judging them by the way they look, Um, which, you know, it's okay when they do it, apparently. And they want to retroactively eliminate anyone they don't think belongs there and they gatekeep the hell out of it. And it's like, you're the ones being exclusive. You're the ones that are keeping people out, not the other way around. Yeah. So the thing is, is, you know, you want to talk about, you know, around the gaming table. We need more seats around the gaming table. You don't have to kick out. Anybody else? No, that's what they want to do. There's no more seats. They say that more seats means you get rid of everybody who you don't you don't like or you make assumptions about, and then put your friends in who look like you, act like you, think like you. Yep. And then tell them that they're not allowed to play anymore because they're terrible people and we own it now, bitches. Because you know, apparently this generation is completely incapable of making anything new. All they can do is appropriate everything else and then ruin it. Uh, this guy here is guy. I mean, this is the thing. Like, you know, this this seems to me to be just. It, they just posted the people they thought were going to get the most views. That's probably. what I think. And I don't think that was, they, I, I don't think it was malicious, but it was really I, short-sighted. I mean, especially on Twitter. I, I think, okay, that, that that's where I was going with it. If I knew I was going to post on Twitter of all places, knowing how these people are, I probably would have been like, no, let's make sure that we uh, highlight, you know, some more diverse people just so we don't get this kind of, for no other reason. I mean, that, that's kind of stupid too. That's almost like, Oh, let's let's th- use our diverse people as a shield against Twitter. Mm-hmm. But but, but that's to, basically what it is, I guess. Yeah. I hate to break it to you though. There are I think there are a lot of conventions, a lot of companies because they know how Twitter is that are doing just that, and it's it is sad that it's like because then you have to like ask yourself like, am I really supposed to be here? Is it just like they're like, oh, we need a you know, somebody that meets this criteria just so we don't get Twitter or whatever complaining about us not hiring. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, My thing is, I think this is stupid. I think that these people that are complaining the most, they better have their asses to all the, 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 to all the panels at this event. I want you to show me your, your bookshelf and you show me all the Goodman games products. Oh, how do you probably even play games at all? They don't even know who they are. They, they're, I, they're just having a hissy because like, oh, 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 there's controversy. I have to come in here and own the chuds. Yeah, it's always like, look, 
back my magazine on Patreon. It's right in my, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, back my Kickstarter. Um, yeah, but you can never appease the mob. Look at Wizards. Wizards bends over backwards or has bent over backwards <laughs> to appease literally like like three people on Twitter and it blows up in their faces and they keep doing it anyway. That's why these people expect you to kowtow because time and time and time again, Companies like Watsy always do. Then they turn around and send the damn Pinkertons. Other like me know. looking for a shred of awareness in the post, but we couldn't find her. Now I'm right here. Uh, what, look, look at look at her thing. Look at her. What, is she, does she even play games? Narrative designer for drag her. Sometimes creature, sometimes aerialist. The only person still consistently talking about Mortal Kombat in 2023. She her. Well. Again, who cares? Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking about Mortal Kombat because the last couple games have sucked. That's the problem. Did you buy them as a matching set or something? Seriously? Wait, this has to I be. I like crochet. This has Magic to be a again. joke. This has to be a joke. This next one, right? There's one down here. On. Look at this one. On. I hate white men. Why are we only white men? I'm PMSing so hard right now. The comments. That I love has, it. But yeah, quack. That's, that's hilarious. I don't get it. My siblings in Christ with the actual fuck. Don't what? recognize any names of the list. Anyway, and women and people of color are RPG creators too. Yes, yeah, you play the new games? Probably. Professional moderator. Uh, Critical Role Fan Club. Again, admin. The new games. Admin. Critical Role Fan Club. Okay. 797 followers? Followed by Geeks and Sundry. Um, yeah, so I apologize. I mean, so, I mean, I mean, I feel bad for you that you're that you're full of a geeks and sundry. So this is look. This is when the whole scene started changing, and I've I've been like anybody has listened to any videos I've done on tabletop or any any podcast. We've actually done podcasts on tabletop talking about how the scene has changed. People have always been welcome to tabletop. They've always been welcome to play. You know, a lot of people just actively chose not to for whatever reason. And yeah, could could people have been a little more inclusive back then? Yeah, probably, but. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like now it's like they're just trying to punish everybody who played before. I just want to say this this whole thing is this racism thing. They're they're all being racist fucks. Like this one person, go up again. This summit is so white that catering is only serving potato salad. Okay, so if I said this summit is so blank, they're only serving, you know, Kung Pao chicken or fried chicken, what would happen? Fucking A. I'm to, like, you know what? You cannot sit there and say you can't, that it's racist to say that shit, then turn around and say the exact same thing, but just against other people. Tim White dudes and dozens more. I mean, I agree with you. It's probably stupid to not put diverse people on the thing because you're putting it on Twitter. But then, but then as a diverse person, again, I would ask myself, am I being used because they know what the, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, there's no way, because then what would happen is be like, oh, you just threw your, your only queer black person on the poster to just to appease. Oh, when Twitter. they tell everybody else and they say, I'm not racist. I have, you know, my, I have several friends that are black. They're token friends. It's like that. I mean, I, it's not even worth looking at, but, but what I am noticing is for the most part, the interaction just isn't there. Like when these people um, start having a hissy uh, fit. Oh, okay. 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 This panel just called me a slur. Like somebody on, if somebody on that panel literally called you a slur, fine, show receipts, that's a problem. But if it's just like they're white dudes, so I am a slur or they're calling me a slur by default because I'm just making the assumption that all these people are bigots and whatever. And again, they said Come there's mods, Seriously? there's Max, the first picture that went up didn't have all their buddies on it. I don't, you know, whatever. I mean, like I said, I'm not going to go to this. So, I, you know, they can do, they do them, I guess, but the whole thing is because they're, like you said, it seems like they're mostly focused on old school stuff. It yes. explains why they're trying to, their target demographic was the old school audience. Oh my God. Okay. So now they're going after, okay. I, I was going to wonder how long it took them to go after backer kit. They're going after backer kit now. 840 followers. Yeah. You're doing hot damn good there, Jill. Backer kit. If you actually go out to backer kit's website, you will find that the majority of projects out there are diverse projects and I actually know some people from backer kit and they're pretty solid. Like I th look, this just happens to be the makeup of the groups that they're putting together. And again, given the demographic, it makes complete sense when they're dealing with old school tabletop that it would be mostly older dudes. You know what I'm saying? Don't go to this. Don't go. You weren't Jill. I don't think you were ever in any danger of, of purchasing any uh, dungeon crawl classics modules or mm -hmm. supplements at all you don't look like a lot of these people are the just coming in because they're like oh i gotta go own the chuds and you know it just it just i'm just so tired of this shit collective like, black disapproval oh 
God's favorite demon. Uh, this was sent to me by a black dude, by the way, who thought this was bullshit. But again, uh, again, just, again, just again, saying. the racism in these posts, uh, the screaming about racism is just laughable. Yeah. Here, Melissa plays RPGs. No, she's only getting it. But still, she's like huge fan of Goodman Games. Yeah, so... Like, look, I want to see, if you're going to give hot takes on this, I want to see the receipts that you're actually buying these games. So then they put this up, trying to deflect some some, uh, some, uh, some of the heat here. And it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. You're, you're going to get backlash. And this is the same thing happened with Substack, too. When Substack started hiring comic book writers, it was all like, they're just all white dudes. I'm like, no, what they did, honestly, is they went for the most established Marvel and DC writers first. You know, mm -hmm. and, and they weren't really looking at race or gender or anything like that. But then it was like, it's problematic. Where are all the BIPOCs and the queer folks? Well, here's the thing. They, they had these people already lined up before the event because they were yeah, there were like six more. Of them, so it was yeah. like they just went out and, and, and then so it was like, nice backpedal. Well, here's my next thing. What do you want? What do you want? Because you want, you're not doing diverse enough. Okay, well, here's all the diverse people we're bringing in. Well, that, that doesn't count now. Why doesn't it count now? They were always coming. You just didn't do your damn homework. How is that their fault? So them, them boy DM now, now is interested. Now is interested. People, but a lot of people are like, I never even heard of these people. Oh my God. Yeah, exactly. Who? No, it still wasn't good enough. No Browns. Again, I, I, yeah. A lot of people are like, I don't even know who these people are. Well, then they said, if anybody wants to be a presenter, they said, reach out to us and we'll get you on the schedule. And people are like, it's not their responsibility to, to reach out to you. You need to reach out to them. Bullshit. Well, as somebody who goes to conventions, has been guest at conventions, that is a load of shit. So this is interesting. Robert Put Holmes. Put a chick in it. Put a chick in it. I'm beginning <laughs> to see what Games Workshop, or why, yeah, why I think it's supposed to be, why Games Workshop no longer gives credit to designers or artists. That way the woke mob can't accuse them of not being inclusive or racially diverse enough. Um, That might be the case because, I mean, People now, they only buy the games, play the games, whatever. They just look at, like, who's working on the games. Like, this space is, I have never, in all of geekdom, hands down, tabletop is the weirdest fucking scene. I don't know, cartoons. Well, I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of overlap. There's like, pop, well, yeah, that's true. It's the same, it's the same type of person. And then Tumblr. they're like, yeah. Tumblr, Tumblr, Twitter. Tumblr type of people, yeah. Uh, a lot of, like, theater kids. A lot of people who. I can't wait to, like, these people grow up and they realize what a bag of dicks they are. Or vaginas. Because, you know, I don't want to be, you know, exclusive. I grew up and or I both, realized that I was neither. a bag of vaginas. <laughs> um, but still, it's just like, I like the, you know, people are going to, they're going to troll now too. Never backpedal. They won't show up to your event. That's what I'm saying. These people are like that are coming. Were they, they were, who were they actually going to come to your event? It sounds like what your event was set up to be. We're not like, you know, some people do like those, those games that are, that are not white males and that's cool, but it seems like the majority in their demographic and that's who they sell to. And since it's their event, they were catering to their audience. Like what? I, I, Goodman games. Um, I don't know you guys. I'm familiar with your products somewhat. I, I'm just telling you, we've seen this time and time again. The If you apologize, if you backpedal, if you do this, th it doesn't matter. It doesn't take the heat off of you. You're in the crosshairs. And these people they, aren't going to well, come anyway. They're not going to come. Like we, we see all these people make a big deal about like, well, so-and-so shows up at this convention. We're going to harass them and we're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to make sure they don't get to go. So many People on Twitter have talked tough and said that they're going to get people banned from conventions or banned from, and with the exception of like Vic Mignogna, um, and he still came to the conventions he, and people still showed up and the line, line was longest. Yeah. I mean, we just saw uh, a couple of days ago, there were a bunch of YouTubers that did the LA comic-con. We saw uh San Diego comic-con, a bunch of people went out and all these people were threatened. You know, if you, if you show up, we're going to, you know, we're going to make sure you don't get to go to, uh, they don't have the power to do that. Mm -mm. You know? They think they do. They want to. But again, at the end of the day, they're not, they talk big online, but they're not your actual audience. You need to listen to your consumers. And I would have told you again, if you're going to go on Twitter, you're going into the lion's den. If you got some diverse people, you might want to throw a couple on the poster. But even then they're complaining. They're like, there's no brown people on here. I see some there's queers, but I don't this. see some browns. There's What's not enough this, on? there's not enough that. There's not, there's not a, a person with dwarfism on here. What the hell? 
There's not someone in a wheelchair. There's not somebody. How you, do you know? know it's a headshot? You right. have no idea. You, you have know, no idea. I know, right? I'm just saying they'll find some reason. Then start. That, start. Okay. Are any people colorblind? Are they? Huh? Start your own. Start your own. You go do like you want to do a diverse gaming whatever. You by all means go do it. I think what pisses them off is that Goodman Games is actually fairly successful and Backer Kit is backing this, so that makes them mad. If Backer Kit thought they were being racist or sexist, they wouldn't back it. Backer I can tell you for a fact, can tell you for a fact that knowing Backer Kit, we've talked to you about Backer Kit before. Yeah. They would not have. They would not have supported something they thought was deliberately being racist. No, they wouldn't. Have. They wouldn't have. Uh, backer kit. Yeah, and it, go out, and look at their projects. You do some homework there. Right. You'll Twitter. see that that there's that they wouldn't have agreed to it if it was the case. Backer kit is doing Spike Trotman stuff now because she had a fit. Oh, I thought that she was going to do it on her own site because yeah. <laughs> she's and then it didn't do well. No, but I'm just saying, just like. You know, yeah, she was going to do her own website. She was going to leave Kickstarter because of NFTs or whatever, which never happened, by the way, over at Kickstarter. They said they were thinking they, about it. They never said they were going to do it. They never said they were going to do it, but she's over on BackerKit. There are a bunch of diverse creators and projects. I would say predominantly diverse creators and projects on BackerKit. So, no, I don't think BackerKit would have supported this if they thought these guys were racist. And you just you guys are talking out of your ass. And you, you're not going to buy the product anyway. Just shut the hell up. Is that good? That yep, good? that works. That, all right. So we're going to wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.